What's going on everyone? It is Brucey e. Sprue and today's video is a bit different. It's an ode to you guys. It's a celebration really for hitting 200 subscribers. So thank you sincerely to each and every one of you for subscribing. You are fucking rock stars. This video is 200 deranged arch kills, one for each sub, and this is the complete footage at eight times speed. So you'll see me do everything here. Originally, I wasn't going to do this video in just one inventory, but I soon realized that it would be possible. I just decided to go for it. You will see me go to the GE and, and sell shit a couple times, but I just didn't have enough room for all the drops to keep dra grabbing stuff, and I tried to grab almost everything. I didn't take anything extra out of the bank. I took one antidote, just in case for the way here, which I dropped. I've actually never needed those. I've never got poisoned on my way here, so I just stopped doing that. And um, I grabbed some runes at one point to charge my staff. But other than that, I was able to just stay here off the drops from Deranged Arch. So his prayer pods, his food, and, and that's it. And the inventory you see in front of you here. For my gear, I was really trying to max prayer and mage. And the inventory is just prayer pods and emergency food, which I already ran out of. And then just runes for Alks. And, and the stuff you need to get here. If you're interested in learning this boss, if you want to bring some more traffic to this part of the game, it is like the easiest boss in the game. I have a guide. I'll, I'll put that on screen now if you want to check that out. And if you're wondering why I chose this boss, um, it is, yeah, because it's easy. I did want to choose something easy for to my first celebration here for 200 subs. But... You know, I was thinking as I got more subs, I would upgrade to doing harder content like 500 Vork for 500, 1k Bandos for 1k, stuff like that. So that's initially how I was going to start it. But now I'm kind of having other ideas and I'm not so sure. I've actually been grappling a lot with the thought that I should just do a deranged arch kill for every sub I get and do it in large batches. That way, my sub count's kind of immortalized in the game on the deranged arch high scores, you know, and to me that would be pretty cool like if I eventually ever had 12k subs or something crazy like that I would just I'd have probably rank one deranged arch just from having subscribers on YouTube I don't know I think it'd be cool there's a cool way to like immortalize my sub count in the game somehow um, so I'm, I, I'm experimenting with that I do want to do something creative so I'm not entirely sure what I'll do for the next ones but I do have ideas floating around things I'm thinking about and, and this is just a start like I said so not too worried but overall guys this this video took me about four hours four hours ish to do it's about 50 kills an hour for me here with this gear and half of that is is literally waiting for him to respawn for such an easy boss for a boss that doesn't have incredible loot or incredible experience you'd think you wouldn't need to wait 30 seconds for a respawn that's almost as long as bandos but that explains why there's almost no traffic here so it was extremely chill and extremely easy to do there's there's no uniques here though um and he mostly does just r drop resources and supplies and at one point you will see me just say say fuck it to taking the fossils he drops a ton of those as well um because i was just getting tired of all the all the juggling and i have a bunch banked so not too lucrative but you know, that's that's why. That's why. <laughs> um, also, Fossil Boss in, in Varrock Museum went. I think we've been all just waiting on that. I only discovered that earlier this year, that that was a thing, that that was content that they didn't make yet. And, um, yeah, they really should, because that actually makes a lot of sense for the rare fossils, and that would be a sick boss fight. But, anyways, do you think, do you guys think this boss needs a rework? Do you think all the things that I, I just mentioned is, is is he really just dead content that should be left alone? Or do you think there could be something that could be done to bring people here? Is, is there truly just no reason to come here? You know, I almost see the latter. I almost see just truly no reason to come here. Um, unless you're doing, you know, like something I'm doing now. But for just playing the game, maybe Iron Man. Uh, but other than that, it's... I don't think it's a, t a too, too valuable, too incredible of a boss. Um, so just let me know in the comments, guys, if you think anything could be done to save this boss, if you think he needs saving, or is deranged archaeologist just dead content, 
that we should just leave alone. And also, let me know if you have any ideas for future sub-celebrations. I do want to get creative with them. Um, it'd actually be cool to get you guys involved in a way as well. So I'll have to, I'll have to use the old melon on that one and get thinking about some, some creative ideas. But if you guys have anything or any suggestions, feel free to let me know because I'm totally down for it. The soundtrack here is a lo-fi mix by OSRS Beats on YouTube. I've used him a couple of times in my videos before. Just a huge shout out to him. He makes such incredible work. And this mix in particular, I think he actually was contacted by Jagex to make it. Um, which is crazy, them and him. Which is just, that's, that's crazy. Um, so I'll put a link in the comments and just go check him out. Show him some love, guys, because he does insane work. One thing I do like, I guess, about this boss with his his drops is a lot of them are stackable or noted. So that is a plus. You get a decent amount of Alks, not a ton. I do wish he dropped more like straight up cash. I'm not sure if he really does. Yeah, I think he does, but I wish he dropped straight up more GP more often. And I'm actually, I'm not even sure if he can drop clues. I don't know, but um, if he doesn't, that could, that could actually definitely be a way to get a little bit more traffic over here. I don't think there's too much that could actually be done with his drop table that would entice people to come over here without breaking him as a boss or having like mains come and farm it heavy that's why you can't really give him a pet or anything else like that I will have the full loot posted at the end. So don't worry about that, or if you want to skip to that, go ahead. And you're also kind of seeing real time the GP I'm making from it as well, just from the Alks and whatnot, and the trips to the GE. Long bone there, super nice. I think I got a couple bones from this guy, or maybe it was just this one. I think around here I stopped really caring about the fossils because it was just getting overwhelming for all that juggling. And here's the antidote that I grabbed that I just don't need. Didn't need it at all. You'll see me go outside the little boss area here a couple times like that. That's just because I'm pausing or checking KC or something.
Yeah, for such an easy boss though too, he can he can actually one hit you. Which you can almost see there, I almost died. Okay, this I think is where I was like getting tired of the juggling and I was like, you know what, I really don't need these fossils. And I probably could have just gone to the GE and banked again, but I was trying to like stay for a decent period of time each trip also guys I do plan to make videos similar to this in the future let me know if the 8x speed is good. I experimented with 16. The video would have been, you know, half as long. It would have been 15 minutes instead, but it was it was almost too fast to really see what was going on and like enjoy it. Um, so if you like kind of the longer ones, then I'll definitely do that. But if you guys are totally down for the 15 minute videos, then I'll tr I'll try like a 16 times speed or whatever I need to do to get it to fit in that time time frame but for this I really do like um, the fact that you can actually see like what's going down you know that what I'm hitting what I'm looting kind of what I'm doing when I'm alking when I'm dropping what I'm juggling And that, I think that right there was about halfway, if I'm correct. Each one of these kills, every time he dies, every time my KC goes up one, that is for one different subscriber, one unique person that follows me. How fucking amazing. And I think it was around this time in the video, or during recording it, or making it rather, that I was like, oh, it's totally possible to be having just one inventory and getting 200 kills here. And if you manage your prayer a bit better, I bet I, bet I could have um, done even a little bit better. And I bet if I had devout boots on instead, a couple other things, I could have done a little bit better. I really do think a, a pretty much max 
mage prayer build here would be like sick. Like I do think you might actually be able to be here just indefinitely. Someone's gonna have to try that out because it's gonna take me a bit to get the gear you need for that. This may be the first achievement of its kind, I'm not sure. 200 deranged arch, one inventory. I haven't checked though, so I don't know. I don't know. I do promise the idea was entirely unique. And I almost stumbled upon it on accident, because it was after the... When you see me bank the first time, I was like, wow, I only used like three prayer super restores, so that was, you know, a decent amount of kills. I probably just go back and then that just kept happening and about halfway through I was like, yeah, I can I can just do it all. I can just fucking go for it here and do two hundred one inventory. It is really chill, but the waiting just sucks. Like, you can literally see it takes me about 30 seconds to kill him, and you gotta wait 30 seconds for him to come back. Look at that GP stack. We just hit over a mil. I guess I gotta charge my staff here. And then I think this was my last. I think that was my last trip until I'm done. Is there even any any lore behind this boss or is he just He's just out here. He's really out here doing his research.
such a fire beat, dude. Go check out OSR's beats, guys. He goes hard with it. Just the sheer amount of food he's dropped has actually been pretty crazy. And you just, you really don't need it. Most of it. We are getting there, guys. Take a guess on how many prayer pots I end up with at the end of the video. How many are left in my inventory? If you get it right, I'll give you one GP and I will jig for you. The real MVP of this whole video is the beaver. Well, it's my subscribers, but it's also beaver because this entire time he was just beaving out. There's not a care in the world, dude. He wanted to cut down so many trees, I bet. He just couldn't. Yeah, look at that. I got a couple more bones. I'm not sure if this is my last trip or not. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is where I start checking the KC to make sure I don't miss it yet, 19.
Getting there, guys. Seven left. Seven left. Despite all my complaints, a very chill experience overall. Four to go. If you guessed four super restores left in the inventory, you'd be correct, or three and a half. And that is it, guys. That is it. Well, obviously, I'll show you the GE and everything in a second, too, but just I wanted to stop and say a sincere thank you again to all my subscribers. And you'll see my character do one here in 8 speed as well. Honestly, you guys are incredible. I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without you. And we can now go to the GE, sell everything. I'll pull up the total loot. Just sell everything real quick here. See what I make. And we're looking at 1806K GP. Okay, 1.8 mil from that. If you want to see the actual loot here, the loot tab, that's 2 mil. I made about 1.8 mil of that. Um, some of the stuff I left on the ground that's all right um, and and yeah some of that just goes straight into my character like the prayer pots and the food and if you cared about the experience or whatever that's that's the experience from the entire endeavor so that is it guys um, honestly thank you so much to my subscribers this was a fun experience it was a lot more chill than I thought it would be I enjoyed it I'm glad that I kind of put a twist on it and did it in one inventory too, made it a little bit different. And thanks again for watching, guys. My subs are awesome. I'll catch you all in the next Nothing Special series video. I got two nice things planned, and I want everyone to take it easy, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.